All right, so moving on, after you get your seams all welded up solid, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grind off the top side welds um, right now. Don't worry about the outside welds at the moment. We're gonna wait until we do a couple more steps and flip the rack over, because it's easier to have that able to move it off the edge of the table to weld off the outside, the outside edges. So a couple tips on how to get a really nice, seamless, smooth surface when you're grinding is, number one, you need to have the right kind of flapper disc. So I'm using a, a Type 27 flap disc, which means that the surface is completely flat. A lot of these flap discs will have, be at an angle, and um, it's just a lot harder to get a nice, flat, seamless surface when you have that type of grinding wheel. So to make this easier, get yourself a Type 27 flap disc, and then um, when you actually grind, the trick to having a perfect flat surface is you never want to tip your grinder side to side when you're grinding a flat surface. You always want to keep it completely flush and flat on the steel when you're grinding. So, and um, another tip is to make long passes. Don't dwell in one spot for too long or you're going to make a divot. So when you're grinding, I mean, when your weld is super tall and still you know, really obvious. You can kind of grind it off for a second, but once it gets down close to the same level as your steel, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna start doing this sort of motion until it gets a seamless, a seamless look to it. Don't, you know, definitely don't tip your wheel. Don't dwell in one spot too long. Once you get your weld grinded down a fair amount, you just wanna start like you're doing a nice sanding motion. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind these off um, I'll show you a little bit of technique on actual grinding and then we'll just fast mow the rest. So just, just worry about these, um, these top welds at the moment. Don't worry about the outside ones yet. So go ahead and get that ground off.